What's going on everyone? John here and welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can set up your Elgato Stream Deck to be able to allow you to bring certain programs in with just a press of a button. That way you don't have to go and search for them. You don't have to have it fill up on your desktop. It's just everything's right there on your Stream Deck and you can just instantly press that button and it opens up the application. So what you're seeing right here on the screen is what I normally would use for whenever I'm going creating any type of commentaries for gaming or anything like that when I go and do any recordings with my Elgato Stream Deck. Now, before I get into how to set that up, just quickly want to let you guys know that if you are new to the series, be sure to go ahead and check out the other episodes inside of the playlist, which you can find in the card above or in the video description below. That way you can see other stuff I've covered because maybe you have some questions that are not answered in this video that might be answered in those other ones. Okay, so how do we set this up? So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna go over to system and you're gonna maximize it here so that way you see everything right here. And what you're gonna wanna use is the little spaceship that says open. So you're gonna left click, drag, and it's gonna ask you what you wanna title it and what type of app or file you wanna be able to open. So you can click on here and it's going to allow you to search through all of these different things. So say, for example, I wanted to open up origin. So I'll go there and I'll look for the origin here, click on it, open, and there it is. So when I go over to my actual stream deck, I'll go and press it. And as you can see, it's trying to open it because it's circling. And it might open it up on my other screen, which I'll just drag it over if it does, because right now it is trying to open it. Okay, so here it is. So that opened up on my other monitor, but that's pretty much it. I mean, you literally go and search for whatever program, whatever file you want it to be, and set it up however you want. And say you wanted to so you want to have it set up like this. So this is the Elgato program itself. So you do the same thing. You search for it. This is Audacity, which I use for my voice whenever I do any of my videos. So I have that there. This is for whenever I want to record through my Elgato. So I have the actual application open, but I don't have to go and hit the button myself. I can just hit it right on my stream deck. And then if I want to take a screenshot of something when I'm playing a game and I'm doing like a video or if I'm just doing some flashback recordings or anything like that, I can just quickly be like, oh, that's an awesome moment. Click, you know, say you say you got a chicken dinner in PUBG or something or you won the match in Fortnite and you wanted to go and just get a screenshot of it real quick instead of having to bring it into your editing software and then go all the way to the end and take a kind of low resolution not very raw high res of the image and everything like that because it's being compressed and everything like that. So you could just simply just get it right here. I mean, you can also go into the Elgato software itself too and get a screenshot that way. So there's many ways of doing it, but that's just, that's just an extra one there. So the way I set those up is I went over here and so actually let me get rid of him. So what I did for this was I just grabbed the record and that's that one right there. I'll delete that. Screenshot, same thing. So those ones are already there, so you don't have to actually search for them. But these guys you did. So Audacity and Elgato, you had to go and search for through the method that I showed right down here. By just clicking, dragging, finding, giving a title if you wish to. And that's pretty much it. But anyway, guys, if you have any questions on what I showed today, feel free to go ahead and let me know in the comment section below. If you have any questions in general about the Stream Deck, be sure to go ahead, like I said, check out the other videos inside the playlist. You might find your answers over on those videos. But if not, feel free to still ask me, and I'll see what I can do to help. But if you're also new to the channel, be sure to subscribe if you're liking the content, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, take care, and as always, keep being awesome.